while China is probably a more a faster uh, promise than India, uh, India will be more durable, it will take longer. The differences are quite uh, small. And Indians enjoy a level of education which is not comparable uh, to the Chinese today. Uh, first, and then they are blessed by the fact that uh, thanks to the English, the British, they speak English. And it, uh, as you know, in China it's not a commodity at all. completely too diverse markets, they're completely too different uh, psychologies of buyers, there are completely two different kinds of governments. I believe that it's uh, much more a matter of uh, uh, newspapers uh, emphasizing the differences that uh, in reality. In China they've had a cultural revolution. <laughs> All of a sudden, women have been empowered to go out there and buy. So that's what they're doing. They're embracing it with huge gusto. They feel like, what if this never happens again? What if something changes in our government tomorrow? So they're going out there and they're going and stocking all the bags and all the lipsticks and everything. Again, even in terms of indigenous designers versus international designers, India has a very proud, very big Indian designer market, which China doesn't have. So for them, it's so much easier to embrace the international designers. For us, we are equally proud of our domestic market and are now trying to get out there and embrace all the international brands that are coming in. I think that India and Italy have lots of similarities. Trying, you know, to get a new deal out of any purchase. Love beautiful things, beautiful nature, and um, they enjoy it. The pleasure of living, uh, the pleasure of friendship, uh, living in community, whatever it's based on the families or uh, groups of friends. A true, authentic tradition of craftsmanship and craftsmanship which is relevant to the world. It's not just craftsmanship for our own use. Uh, as Italy has been able to export and then to colonize in a way with its own designs uh, and its own craftsmen, I think that India has the same potential. It just needs more awareness. This is going to be the second, third, fourth largest market in the world in the next decade or so. It's a much more a, a long-term prospect that a real opportunity. I think we are yet at that stage where fashion for us is either Indian or international. It's local or imported. I think we're still trying to come to terms with the finer nuances that what's the difference in Italian tailoring, French layering, British textiles, New York styling. I think those nuances are yet lost on us. On December 10 last year in Brussels, we had the official start of a negotiation for the definition of a free trade agreement between India and the European Union countries. And we hope that when this FTA agreement will be signed, we will see uh, hopefully the uh, dramatic <laughs> reduction of import duties and also non-tariff barriers. Mm -hmm.